Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak, and just as I was finishing up, what do I see? A big old boat was staring me down. So, what do I do? I grab my odd six from the trunk and set my sights. Hey, guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey! Tyler, from the boat, right? Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. She took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation try to get their support? Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but... You know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... Resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened. Which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... 
don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, it's sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. I know, but I'll be there too, and Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. in that box. Hold on. Let me count this. Uh, I'm seeing 16 cans of tomato sauce. That many? You sure you only counted the tomato cans? Ah, shit. I got cocky. It's actually 14. Look, I'll let that one slide just because it's you. Let's say you do on the next one. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it.
Six. All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> I like it, for real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Alright, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. You know... When you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing the spray paint, Tyler? Oh, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so... Why am I standing here looking at this? The only processed food Marianne ever let us eat. She said they were her guilty pleasure. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Is that the mangy muskrat? Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were so... Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool.
Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Damn, overshot it. So, is this a typical workday for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Vecchi. Can't sell any of them. Cool, no harm, no foul then. Boom. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Yo, we better wrap this up soon. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World-renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Yikes, that's unsettling. Hey, you remember the ad for this? What was their slogan again? Um, I've been about time travel and life being weird, I think.
So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. <sighs> Jesus, that's fucked. Oh, Jesus has nothing to do with that, trust me. Being religious doesn't mean you gotta weaponize your religion against other people. That's a choice. Yeah, I hear you. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's alright. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. Alright. And... I'm done. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I, I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be, especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm, fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. You pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course, shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell, too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that but I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah, let's go. Here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. 
Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after... You know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? Graves are back that way. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No had a reason to, thankfully. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No, it's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And... Sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you, in here, always here. Mom? <laughs> always. She loved us, a lot, but sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe, yeah. But I don't know, I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think, wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. No dice. Sound familiar. Yazzie yeah, Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he'd always blast the horn for us. No luck on my end. You? Nothing. No dice.
De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd all. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? Uh, just how does one type like a T-Rex? You know, uh, almost kissing the keyboard. Like, makes you look like you got tiny baby arms. Like a T-Rex. Never change, Michael. Anyway, as grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at. Even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push just buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Yes, I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. I can't wait to get home and try that famous marinade. So, what's the secret ingredient? Wouldn't you like to know, huh? Bird syrup. Uh, how could you? Twins before hoes, Michael. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push just buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. 
Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. Can't wait to get home and try that famous marinade. So, what's the secret ingredient? Wouldn't you like to know, huh? Bird syrup. Uh, how could you? Twins before hoes, Michael. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinket Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Do you remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during this. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store, Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Um... It starts with a K, right? Kendra. Don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. I... I hope this isn't rude, but... Where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. We came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then... Well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do you want to go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet, like a frozen desert. Thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... It's gotta be hard. Yeah. 
Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mama's been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right. But if I'm honest, the solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to. Just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but... You have any thoughts? It sounds like you've got a good thing going here. Why not give it a little more time to see? I do, don't I? I can always change my mind, but... For now, it feels like the right thing to do. It sounds like you've only got good options. I don't think you need to worry about making a wrong choice. Hmm. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Well, uh, we should get moving. I hope everything works out for you and your daughter. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. Damn. She got kind of stranded out here. I know. And her daughter's barely two years old. God, those kind of acts happen all the time. The penalties cost less than safety upgrades, so... So they do jack shit. Life's got a price. He thinks Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. Yeah, that's where I went when I ran off. them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday. But not today. No dice. No dice. Not hers. 
Why can't I remember? Where is she? Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. You didn't have to do it all alone. I wasn't expecting to see. But what are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? Pass on. Our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God... What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. You were worried. Then you did what you thought you had to. Get it? We both do. The situation was so fucked that, well, there probably wasn't a good answer. Thank you. I... I... No. I could have done more. Marianne was fragile. She needed help, and I... I failed her. It's my fault. She's gone. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives... I'd like to be there, 
I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tessa's thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. You wanna sit down for a bit? Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But... We always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So, I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos. Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. 
And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. I got it. What happened? Uh, there, there was... A, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Did he really I have, might have to found smash something. everything? Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Asshole even dumped the drawers. None of the valuable stuff's missing. Huh. At least you were spared. know how he made the he hole. really turned this place upside down. Step back. I'll be fine. Person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person.
Finding anything? Just give me a sec. We wrote a shit ton of stories. I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. And preferably without destroying the box. This guy went on a tear. Yeah, that'll break a lock. Let's not waste time. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Fuck. That's rough. This... this guy tried to push Mary Ann to get an abortion. Even though she wanted to keep us. That's everything. What the hell? So... Mary Ann hid a box under the barn box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. It's pretty clear what happened. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That guy had an affair with Mary Ann, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Do you remember anything about his face? I couldn't see it. He had a hood on. you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots?
this is where I tripped. The Mad Hunter! Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? No, it was just... I, s I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. Shut 
I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father. You really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison! There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. Thank you. 